Yeah, and we're all in for Betty White. All right, it's a breakthrough in the way that doctors treat people with epilepsy. The treatment uses laser technology to destroy lesions in the brain that cause epileptic seizures. Local 2's Marie Soraya is joining us live at the Texas Children's Hospital in the Med Center. Good morning, Owen and Lauren. You know, Texas Children's is not only the first pediatric hospital, but the first hospital in the world to be using this new laser procedure. Now, they say the advantages are not just smaller surgical incisions, but of course, shorter hospital stays. Now, we just came from a news conference that started at 10.30 this morning, and the first surgeries were performed by Dr. Daniel Curry and Dr. Angus Wilfong. The surgeries were done on epilepsy patients ranging in age from 5 to 16 years old. All the patients, they say, had widely varied types of brain lesions. Just a two millimeter opening and through that to pass a small laser probe that can reach deep parts of the brain without hurting the overlying brain and to destroy the lesion that's causing the epilepsy without causing injury to the surrounding brain. The first patient we did was in August of last year. So it's over the last year we've done five patients, and so far they are all free of their seizures. Again, they've been having great success with this new epile epilepsy procedure. Again, they started last August, and they say it takes about a year for them to see success, and so far they say they've seen it. Now, drug therapy can only control about 60% of epileptic seizures, so of course this medical breakthrough is obviously very good news, promising news for those affected by epilepsy. For now, we are live in the medical center. Marisa Reyes, KPRC Local 2. Marisa, thank you. And doctors say a typical hospital today for a patient who receives this procedure to treat their epilepsy is between five to seven days. With the use of their MRI guided laser surgery, patients can usually go home the next day. Wow. Breakthrough indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, a man was found dead near a Texas Southern University. Coming up at 11.